Hey, what's up, guys? It's the Media Marauder again, and we're doing a What Sold This Week on on eBay. This sold Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And as usual, we're going to break down all the numbers for you. Let's get right at it. This is a Columbia women's shirt. It was a small. It took about four years to sell because it was a small. And it was new tags. I took a $10 offer, so it was $16 with shipping. This uh, brand new DVD, we paid a dollar for it, sold it for $17. This Mike Tyson, we sold for four bucks. This Sonics sweatshirt, we paid four dollars for this, and we sold it for sixty-one bucks. Uh, Cedric Wilson, we got nine four. The Steve Blass, we got five four. The Doug Cosby, we sold for eight bucks. Captain Blood was a sealed DVD. We had a dollar in it, and we sold it for fifteen bucks. That uh, Bart Star we sold for three bucks. No, four bucks. This, uh, I'm not sure what this guy's name is. Starts with an I. Sold that for eight bucks. Jay Baruchel, Leaf Certified, we sold for 21 bucks. We only had like three dollars in that on eBay. We, we paid for it. Here's a Cheyenne, Cheyenne Autumn. It's an out of print VHS tape, one of the big boxes. Uh, we sold this one for $24. This was a WVU t-shirt signed by Matt Lindemood or something like that. Found it at a thrift store for $2. Bucks. Uh, we sold it for $23. The Don Stanhouse we sold for $5. Bucks. The Bobby Door, we got those. We got three of those on eBay for, I think, like $5 bucks maybe. And uh, we sold that one for $13. Uh, Kurt Schilling we sold for... Or uh, not Kurt Schilling. Chuck Schilling. We sold for eight bucks. There was fifty-four Houston cards autographed. We sold for fifty bucks. The USFL card. We got eight dollars for it. The Don or John Elway. That was from the bottom of a box. Uh, we ended up getting twelve dollars for that. This Michael Jenkins autographed display piece. Uh, I think we had like three dollars in it. We sold it for twenty-six bucks. Orlando Pena, we sold for seven bucks. This NASCAR card, I got this whole set in a collection. The whole set was worth like three dollars on eBay, and then you'd, they'd have to pay five dollars shipping. I sold this one card for uh, three bucks, so I made more money on that one card than I would have put in the whole set together. And and I listed every card individually. So there may be some other drivers that people want. You can make, you can really make a lot of money just busting up those kind of oddball sets. Here's uh, 27 Pirates. We sold for 30 bucks. We had a Hank Williams Jr. card that I don't have here. I sold that one for 15. And this John Beeson Refractor we sold for three bucks. We had pretty much any of these cards like that and the Bart Star and that kind of stuff. We have about 10 cents in when I figured when I buy the collections I don't count those cards. So basically they're free, so I just put down 10 cents for a cost. But it wasn't too bad. We sold a lot of sports stuff. Like I said, we, we ended up turning it into, from a media store into a sports store We're pretty fast, it seems like. But uh, we sold $395 is the gross sales for all this stuff. We paid $47 for all this stuff. And we are going to have about $47 in shipping and $59 is going to go to eBay. So let's break that down. We did $395 minus $47 for cost of goods. It is $348 minus the $47 it takes to ship. That's $301 minus uh, the eBay fees, which is $59. We made $242 pure profit after paying for every single thing, all the costs, all the shipping, all the uh, cost of goods, everything. So we made $242 pure profit. Not too bad on 47 bucks. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you like this kind of content, please subscribe, please comment, hit the like button, all that fun stuff. Till next time, guys, peace.